happy sunday precious one and welcome back to my channel i'm nana Bnayan. today is sunday as i said earlier and i'm going to prepare lunch i have not prepared any african dishes on sunday by today we are going to prepare peanut butter soup with fufu but unfortunately my sweet heart don't but eat don't fufu. worry you can eat this soup with rice jam potatoes bread kenke gari etc so i'm so happy you guys are here with me let's start but i am going to play music behind oh no there is a call a moment Have the ingredients you need to make this peanut butter soup as listed with a blender pour in the tomatoes fresh tomatoes or any tomatoes of your choice and add the peanuts and blend it pour it into a bowl and place it aside so these are the ingredients use any spices of your choice the salt and pepper is always according to your taste. We are going to make peanut butter soup in quine de che de che. De che de che in kate quine. Ni epo simini bi. Eni ye be ye. Okay. So use any fish or meat or chicken of your choice. You can use turkey. With a clean saucepan on a high heat, pour in the meat on the bone, the chicken, onions, pepper, all the types of pepper, ginger powder, kenyai pepper, salt to taste, mixed spices. And stock cocktail tomatoes, shake it little and place it back on the heat. Cover it and steamer it for 20 minutes. Then open and pour hot water or lukewarm water and cover it because the palm because the peanut butter needs hot water to work with. Stir it and pour in the peanut butter mix with the tomatoes. For the peanut butter, you can make it according to your choice. I know people boiled it before adding to the soup, but that is not my mother's recipe, neither my great grandmother. They do the rare Ashanti traditional peanut butter soup. After 20 minutes, this is how it looked like. After another 20 minutes, add the fish, the okra, and stir. After 15 minutes, add the onions and stir. Let it cook while we prepare the full food. Fufu. The fufu, the water is according to how thick you want the fufu to be. And as you all know, I want soft fufu. So I don't stir my fufu regular or frequently. I stir it once in the bloom. When it's thick, then I boil it. Boil it nicer and make sure it does not clot. According to the instructions on the package. The fufu is ready, so make it or shape it in the form of your choice or any shape of your choice. Place it into a bowl. If you get the Ghana traditional bowl, oh geez, it's the best. So this is the fufu. In Tuami, you know what? In Chi, we say in Tuami, you know. Serve yourself and enjoy this. You can eat the peanut butter soup with rice, potatoes 
ugari, rice balls, kukonte, etc. Enjoy! To make this spinach soup, the thick soup, these are the ingredients as listed. Use any spices of your desire. The salt and the pepper is always according to your taste. You can skip all meat and use fish only. You can as well as make it vegetables only. With your stone, mortar and little pistol, blend the spices you want. Blend it smoothly. With your clean cooking pot on the stove on a medium high heat, pour in the fish, the smoked fish. All fish and meat are already washed. Organize it well in the pan so that you can stir when you want to stir it. Place in the crabs. These are the only crabs I have in the house. The smaller ones, I don't have the big ones. Add the chili, garlic paste, chopped onions, green chili paste, salt to taste, snails. If you don't eat snails, you don't need to use it. Then pour in the vegetable stalks. Leave the rest of the ingredients. Cover the cooking pot and let it steamer for 25 minutes so that all the meat and the fish are cooked. Add in the chopped mushrooms and the spices you blend stir the soup gently add the okra the baked chicken add the thick spinach you blended Steamer this or cook this for 10 minutes on the lower heat. After 10 minutes, this is how the soup look like. It is ready, yummy, yummy. This is spinach, mashed frozen spinach. I defrost it and blend it. That is the one in the big bowl. That's water. So those are all the ingredients we are going to use to make this soup. The chicken. You can use turkey, blended tomatoes, 
chopped onions, stock, mixed spices, bay leaf, Kenyan pepper, salt to taste, garlic paste, aridan, that is prekese, meat, salmon. With a bowl, pour in the chicken and season it with any of your favorite spices. Marinate it well so that the spices will absorb it and you get a nice taste. Place it aside. Open the rest of the ingredients. I'm dancing because there is music in the background on the background. With a clean saucepan, place it on a medium high heat. Pour in the meat. The meat is steamed meat. The salmon. Chopped onions. Blended tomatoes. Wash the bowl and place it in bay leaves, garlic paste, kenyai pepper, salt to taste, green chili, mixed spices, stock. Steamer this for 15 minutes. With a new saucepan, pour in water and boil the okra. I'm sorry I have a guest in the house today and she don't eat okra. So we are going to cook it separately. After 15 minutes, open the soup or the steaming meat. Stir it. So that the rest of the meat will cook well or the fish will cook well. The okra is ready. I place it aside. Place a frying pan on the heat. Now pour in the blended spinach in the soup and stir. I switch the back heat or the stove to place it on and then switch the frying pan. Make sure the spinach soup is on a low heat. With the frying pan, pour in amount of oil. Fried the chicken when the frying pan is heated. The soup is still on a low heat. Now the soup is ready. The chicken is also ready. Enjoy! Serve this soup with rice, fufu, eba. Drink it like that after dinner. Enjoy! you will need to make this carrot soup and fufu. Blend the steamed carrot and place it aside or pour into a bowl. The, with a clean cooking pot, pour in the meat. Add ginger paste. Salt to taste. Kenyan pepper. The spices, the pepper is always according to your taste. The bay leaves, chopped onions, crushed garlic or garlic paste, 
a tablespoon of tomato puree, little water and steam it for about 10 to 15 minutes. So after 15 minutes, this is how it looks like. And I'm using a soft meat. It's not all that hard. Add the rest of the ingredients, the aridine, the aridine, the pepper, the chicken, the sliced carrots, mackerel, Use any fish of your choice, mushrooms, the blended carrots, add the water. The water is according to how thick you want the soup. I want it light, so I'm adding more water because it is light soup. Stir it gently. This is how it looks after 10 minutes. After another 5 minutes, add your okra. This is frozen okra. You can add the fresh ones if you have it. After 20 minutes, I add or add your blended onions and stir. Stir it and let it cook slowly. Why it is cooking slowly? We are going to make the fufu. Use any fufu of your choice. The yam fufu, the coconut or cocoa yam fufu. This is plantain fufu. And one this liter of the plantain fufu powder, pour it into a cooking pot, add the water. The water is how soft you want the fufu to be. I want my fufu soft always. Mix the water and the powder well. Make sure it does not clot. Place on a medium high heat. Stir it frequently, but I don't like stirring my bengu or fufu frequently. I stir it every three minutes but it will not burn. That's what I'm going to do. So after five minutes, this is how it looks like. And I'm going to boil it again and add water because it's just, it is too hard here and I want soft fufu. So after five minutes, this is how it looks again. I boiled it and it is ready. Give it any shape of your choice. I'm going to make it run as always. Use the wooden spoon to take some of the fufu in a bowl. And this is it. Serve this with the carrot soup and enjoy it with family, friends, or alone. together that you did not copy 
anybody, right? If you are ready, please have a seat, take your drink, sit down, relax, and watch this very video because it is quick and easy. But please focus. Focus is very important. Please let's start. Guys, so this soup is no stress soup because I'm using my leftover soups to make this in katikunto. My leftover spinach soup and my leftover peanut butter soup. Bring them together to make in katikunto. The mixed spinach peanut soup. It have to be 50-50. You don't have to let one be more than the other. According to Ghana tradition, from my great grandmother, this soup have to be 50-50. That is why it, it's called Inkatikonto. Mix both together. Make it lighter or thicker. You can eat this soup with rice, potatoes, yam, gari, rice balls, etc. Let it boil for 15 minutes on a low heat and serve this to the family, friends and loved ones. Enjoy! to make the kokonte and the okra soup the, co the kokonte powder place it aside we have all the ingredients together here chopped okra and mashed jute leaf shredded onions pepper blended tomatoes meat stock the spices the spices is all half teaspoons. The chicken, that is chicken, fish, fresh fish. You can use any fish of your choice. Crab, roasted meat, and one fried fish. I have the mackerel and then the salmon. So open all the ingredients with a clean pot on a medium low heat. Pour in your oil. You can skip the oil. It's not necessary. So I pour in two tablespoons of olive oil. You can use any oil of your choice. Add the tomatoes, the huintia, and cumin, and black pepper. Stir this for 30 seconds. After 30 seconds, add your blended tomatoes. You can use tomato puree. This is blended, fresh blended tomatoes. Stir it and let it cook for five minutes. After five minutes, add the rest of the spices. Use any spices of your choice. The salt and pepper is always according to your taste. Add the salmon. the or fish it look like mackerel but it's not mackerel pepper 
the meat stock and stir. This is how it looks now. Cover it and let it simmer for one minute and add the Kenyan pepper. While we are waiting for the meat to steam with a, a new saucepan on the medium high heat, I change the heat to a different side so I can do another thing in front. With another clean pot, add water and cover it to boil. So we are waiting for all the things to boil. This is the fufu and that is for the okra. Pour in the okra when the water is, has boiled or is warm. Let it cook for about three minutes. While we are waiting for the rest, check the soup and stir. The okra is ready here. Mash it with potato masher or any masher. Whether it's a woody masher, put off the heat so the okra can be more slim, thick, etc. So mash it so that it breaks into pieces. When it's ready, add the jute paste or the jute, the mashed jute, jute leaves. Now the soup has cooked for about 20 minutes. Add the chicken, roasted or steamed or baked meat. And stay. The okra and the jute mix is ready, so I place it aside. Taste the soup if the salt is okay, if it's not, add more. The salt is always according to your taste. And stay. Add the crabs. The crabs is frozen one and stay. Push them in so it can cook well. Let it cook for about 15 to 20 minutes. After 15 minutes, the fufu water is ready. Take away some of the hot water and place it aside. Now pour in the coconut tea. It depends how much you want it. But I'm going to use two, two deciliter or more two deciliters or more and I need help because the cocoa tea when you are boiling it and someone is placing the flour in it for you it is more nicer and it goes faster so I called my friend Sydney to come and add the flour little by little whilst I stir it very faster this is how we make cocoa in Ghana it helps the coconut to get good texture without clotting. You can do it yourself too. By then you have to be careful so that it does not clot. So boil it faster so it does not clot. It's a very tricky food. 
and you can't use cold water to prepare it will not look good but you can try you never know but always in ghana we use hot water to boil the coconut the coconut we are going to boil it for 25 minutes and it's ready remember the soup and check it it is also boiling nicely clean around the saucepan so that it will be easy for you to boil the coconut well put a little water around it and cover it place it on a medium high heat stir the soup so all the meat can cook well in the fish the soup is ready so add the okra and the jupe leaves you mix instead this soup is so delicious and yummy Woo! now lower the heat of course lower the heat and add the shredded onions and let it cook for only three minutes add little water around the coconut and let it boil when it boiled open it and mix it well and be careful you don't hurt yourself with the hot water the soup is still on a lower heat so mix the water around the coconut well thank you so i mix it well and faster boil it well and faster it will always help the coconut to get a good texture be careful you don't hurt yourself so the soup is ready place it aside and sorry for all the mess on the stove So serve the soup because the coconut is also ready. Use any bowl of your choice or any traditional bowl of your choice like apatoria. It is best to eat from or any large bowl. For the coconut, you can give it any shape of your choice. You can make it thicker or softer and as you know i want my food to be softer serve it with any plate or bowl of your choice so Traditionally, this is how we eat the coconut. You pour the soup direct to the on the coconut. So this is how I want mine. So delicious. Enjoy. said he's gentle so he's here where do you want to take the picture in the kitchen okay <laughs> yeah, I cannot be in the kitchen. by kitchen it is nice like, even i haven't cleaned I the whole week and uh, let me see maybe be stopping like it is only one that be stopping
will be doing the uh, uh, photo shots like a modern tool. What will be the modern tool like him? Leander. You understand? Like the scar. Mm. The scar, yeah. And uh, somebody can able to see it very well. I want your hair to go inside on the Deep. scar. Yeah. If I do it tomorrow, I'll put it on my hair now. It will not go away. You understand? So you want to the treatment and or yeah, yeah, since that I'm having dandruff, I don't know. Mm. Oh, you, know, you, know it's not you want to take picture? I'm videoing you for my YouTube channel, of course. Say hi to me. the ingredients you will need to prepare this kobe soup as listed use any spices of your choice any meat of your choice and the onions you can use the white ones the chili you can use the red chili as well you can use any dry fish or smoked fish of your choice. The salt and the pepper is always according to your taste. I'm using ham. You can use any meat of your choice. The Kobe is there. With a clean iron pot on the heat or on the stove, pour in one deciliter water. Add the meat, the smoked fish, the fresh fish, aridan, bay leaves, the chili, blended tomatoes, chopped onions, kenyan pepper. and cover it with water. Add the Kobe Specia and stir it little. Cover it and let it steamer for 15 to 20 minutes. Add the cocktail tomatoes, spices, and then blended carrots and add more water stir it gently so that you don't mash the kobe and the rest of the fish allow it to boil on a medium high heat for 25 minutes add the blended onions and then the okra and stir Allow it to cook for another 15 minutes on a low heat. After 15 minutes, that's how it looks like. 
the soup is ready. You cannot prepare this soup without any fufu. With 200 ml fufu powder, I added one deciliter potato powder and mix it. Place it on the stove and stir it, but I don't stir it frequently or regular. I stir it once a while till it is thick. Put water around it and let it boil and boil it faster. The fufu softness is according to your taste. I want soft fufu as always. Then use any shape of your choice to make the shape. This is the fufu. And I wish you are all here with me to taste this fufu. I have a guest around, but I did not tell him I want to feed you. So you can only see me sitting here. Thank you for watching. I love you so much. Bye.